Hey everybody, it's Ion Dragon X, and I uh, thought that I would do a quick tutorial on a tool that I use for League of Legends. This uh, changes the recommended items that you see when you uh, are looking at the store. Um, you go into the purchase, and uh, it has six items that are recommended for your champion. And if you ever wanted to change that to a different build, just because uh, you have better ideas in mind or that you hate uh, Riot's suggestions, this is how you do it. The, there's no hacking involved in this. Um, this is the creator of the program. This is your buddy pal. You can find this thread uh, in the link in the description. Uh, you could also Google lol item changer your buddy pal and uh, you'll probably will get this thread right away. You get the program from the download link that's right here in the version number. Uh, it does require net 4.0, but you should already have that if you've done regular updates. Uh, after downloading this, you'll have a zip file. I recommend using 7zip.org. 7-zip.org. Uh, it's a good archive program. It's free. I've never had a problem with it. So once you get your zip file, you uh, unpack it into whatever folder that you want. I just use my documents folder, uh, keeping the all item changer folder. Um, and this is what you should see inside. The one with this icon is the program itself. It does not have a Windows installer, so if you want to uninstall it, all you do is delete the entire folder piece of cake. Uh, you can make a shortcut of this on your taskbar or on your uh, start menu. Uh, once you get that done, if you are booting it for the first time, it will uh, go through a check for updates and um, some few moments of initialization. Then it will come up with a pop-up screen that asks you, where is League of Legends? I don't have that screen anymore because I already installed this, but uh, basically you just uh, go to wherever you installed League of Legends. I think the default is C drive, folder called Riot, and a folder called League of Legends. You just select the League of Legends folder and then hit OK. You'll never see that pop-up screen again. This is the second screen that you'll see, and you won't have a save file to load from. so you'll be either looking at custom items or default items. For the first time that you're booting up the program, you select default items. I'm not even sure that the custom items exist yet. A little explanation of what these two mean. Um, in the League of Legends folder, there's some initiation files, uh, in initialization files, uh, one of which has all the default items that Riot wants. Um, so when you're just starting, you have to start from their starting point. Not a big deal. Uh, after you start manipulating things inside of this program, you will deploy them. It says deployed right here. You will deploy them and it will put it into a file that's uh, inside the League of Legends folder called custom items. Now the League of Legends program actually uh, uses the custom items file as long as it's present. I think uh, by default there's nothing in it, so it goes to the default recommended items. This program is creating this file for you every time that you hit deploy. Um, I will get to the other part later. So you're going to load the default recommended items. You get the uh, selected character up here, all of the champions in alphabetical order, just like champion selection and uh, the items for this character uh, just below it. There are two modes. There's Classic and Dominion. Uh, most people know that uh, the, there's a difference between the item and the recommended items in Rift and Dominion. So to change your, the uh, displayed items, you have to have it set in the mode that you want. So let's mess around with Garen. You select Garen. He's got all of his defaults here. 
uh, we've got it in classic mode. All of the builds that are by default are going to be labeled main. So I personally prefer to leave main alone and just build ones that are custom. So we're going to call this one tanky. There we go. So it starts off identical to the one that you just left, but the old one is still there in case you ever want to switch back. So you can manipulate the position of the items, moving them up or down. And then to change the items, you uh, select one. All of the items pop up over here. And you can either select the replacement or you can drag and drop. Uh, both of, stepping back a little bit, both the uh, hero select and the item select have filter bars up here. So because everything's by alphabetical order, to find an item that you want, you just type a few letters. I want Mark Dreads. So I type M-E-R. The only thing that has M-E-R in it is my Hero's Dreads. So I select it, and there it is. I want to keep the Sunfire Cape. That's fine. I want Atmos. So we'll do AT. Um, I want Force of Nature. So we'll do F-O-R-C. And then I'd like some damage. Let's uh, let's do Phantom Dancer. And then on the last one, we'll do Infinity Edge. Now all of these changes have been temporary. To make them permanent, you have to hit Deploy. Deploy them to where? Deploy them to the classic item. Um, and it's done these will now show up in League of Legends. If I had hit deploy the minion items nothing would have happened because what I was doing here was changing the classic build. As you can see Garen's Dominion bolt has not changed at all. So you could always hit deploy all items and that will take care of both uh, categories at the same time. Now. League of Legends doesn't keep track of multiple builds. It only ever keeps track of one build at a time per champion. So how do you keep all of the builds that you want to make? Because uh, suppose that you wanted to make an AD build for Garen. And uh, you know, just to go totally nuts with the AD stuff. Um, if you wanted to do that, then you'd have a whole bunch of builds. And if you wanted to keep all these builds, where would you save the information? Well, you have to create a file. You would go to Save As, uh, find a location to save a file, and uh, just type in the file name that you want to save it as. Piece of cake. I've already created uh, some uh, database files, so yeah, I'm going to re replace them. Now, in that file, all of these builds are kept. So if I had, for example, um, wanted to play Garen in uh, Team Select and uh, I had this program up and I wanted to switch from Tanky, which I already had uh, deployed in the League of Legends, to uh, AD, then I would Alt tab to this program, uh, go to the AD, and then hit deploy classic items. You could do that all in a few seconds. So while you're selecting your runes and masteries and your summoner spells, you can actually deploy out an entirely different build. Um, so long as you know what you're doing, it would take 15 seconds tops. Um, you would have to be able to finish that before it closed champion select um, because all the changes has to be done before it actually starts to load the game program. What else can I cover? Yeah, that's more or less it. 
if we go through another patch, which we always will, and add a new champion, uh, your buddy pal is going to have to do an update on the program. These updates are automatic if you have um, automatic check for updates. So that's not a problem. However, it will the League of Legends update patch will save over your um, your deployed items. So what you want to do after you update League of Legends is uh, run this program to update itself um, and then load your saved file and um, deploy all items. That should take care of any problems that uh, may happen from crisscrossing two different patches at once. Uh, another th good thing to do, by the way, is uh, this is the same pop-up screen as you'll get when you boot the program. Uh, once you have your own file created, just click automatic, the automatic checkbox right here, so that you don't have to hit OK every time. That checkbox will uh, mean that this program will go through its own update and then load your own items by default. It's much quicker that way. So that, I believe, is it. I can't think of anything else to cover. Um, I hope you enjoy this program. I hope that uh, you check out my videos of me playing League of Legends. And a giant, huge, enormous thank you to your buddy pal for making an easy to use program that uh, I have never had a problem with. Uh, keep up the good work. And uh, peace out.